Hey, new review today. Very excited to share with you guys this. So we're taking a look at New Age's Legendary Heroes, War Boy Bodie. Very cool. Got this from the Chosen Prime. And uh, really cool art. Dig it a lot. This is part of the multiverse, you know, line. And it's not quite Diaclone colored. It's a toy homage to another toy, which is cool. And uh, yeah, it's basically their beachcomber, which they're calling Jones, just uh, recolored and retooled. So yeah, a different gun. Yeah, but very, very cool. Can't wait to go ahead and check it out. Okay, so here we have Bodie in his vehicle mode, looking pretty cool, really neat. Very handsome vehicle. <clears throat> See all the seats in there. Kind of, kind of a steering wheel, sort of. But you know, some some pretty good details in there. I mean, there he is in the bottom, but no surprises there. But yeah, very, very cool looking. And he rolls really good. I've always been a big fan of Beachcomber's vehicle. I like Beachcomber as a toy. Um, so that's what attracted me initially to this toy, as well as um, the homage that he has. So uh, just for some comparisons here. Here he is with Hound. Hound with, um, not Hound. Brawn. Oh my gosh, sorry. I had a brain fart there. Green Jeep. Brawn. So, <laughs> the version of Brawn. Uh, Hogan, I, I assume. But yeah. So he's a mini bot. He's a little guy. Just a, just a teeny little guy. Here is a little bit of a bigger vehicle that they've released, a bigger figure. So there is Prowl. So yeah, you can see just how small he is, how much smaller he is than just a regular scaled uh, Autobot that we have. And finally, just to see really how small they got him, there is G1 Beachcomber. So he's even smaller than the original mini bot. And yeah, he looks really good. Um, in comparison, he looks solid. So you got all the details in the right spot, even that little you know, section right there. And of course, I'm not getting Jones, uh, their version of Beachcomber. So this can be the only comparison you really get. But yeah, pretty cool. Now, uh, as far as the transformation, it's very, very simple. But <laughs> let's go ahead and get that done. We just open up these things, and those are just going to cover up his hands, as you can see. There's his hands. And, you know, obviously you can see everything in there, so you want to split uh, the roof section. So get all of that disconnected uh, from itself, and then these uh, little tabs will go in these little sockets. It's just a, it's a kind of a placeholder, and you want to flip this around. Flip these in, like that, and then flip these around for his heels, and you got two legs. Now with these, you can turn the uh, headlights so they're kind of less in the way. You can do that if you want, just clean up that look a little bit. And the arms will peg in right there. So, yeah. And then this is kind of neat. Get this out of the way. Get this up. And then you'll feed this. Let's see. Feed this through here like that. So. And then this will come back down. Let's see here. Come back down. This whole thing will... This whole thing will shift down, see, like this. Boop. And then that'll get everything in its right spot. And then this will collapse. And that will, there's some little slider there, as you can see. 
Sorry, the lighting is a mess. This thing, this guy's tiny. <laughs> All just so. Yeah, so there's pretty much that, and then that's it. <laughs> that's it. You got Bodhi all set up now. So yeah, very, very clean transformation. Looks really good up from the back and the front. Love that little skull there. It's super cool. Looks really great. Now this is uh, an homage to a... I actually had to look it up. It's I immediately noticed uh, the skull and all that, and it's an homage to a um, Cybertron toy. I think it was hard top, surprisingly, not a hard top. It was the same kind of Baja buggy. But uh, they recolored that toy in this color scheme for the first movie. I think it was called the, the, the Data War or the Data War. So... Yeah, so that's what this is actually homaging, which I, I didn't even know was a toy until recently, but very cool. And he does have a new gun as well as a new head, and he does come with a, and I'm not sure where I put it, a secondary little head, actually. It's in here. A secondary little head for for Jones if you have him and it's just got a smiling face so if you if you bought both then you have an extra little head there and you know instructions and everything are in there very very simple so very cool let's go ahead and just do a couple comparisons for scale so you can see here he is with uh Outback or William Bonnie I know his name right got him <laughs> so as you can see he's a little taller Sort of. Uh, I mean, they're about the same height, but uh, his shoulders, you know, go up a little higher. So there's that. And we're just doing the recolors. So I don't have to transform everything again. <laughs> so there's that problem mold again. So that's blue streak. Blue, blue streak. So kit. So yeah, there is a nice shot of the, the scale that he would fit into right there. And it's really cool. I really dig this toy it's fun it's a it's a neat transformation and it's really easy uh and uh yeah cool he does have all of your typical uh, articulation that you'd get from these guys he's got the knee this uh hip skirt goes out of the way so the uh the hips are on a ball joint go up and down and all around and uh you saw this little ankle tilt he's got that he's got the waist He's got the ab crunch. No, does he? A little bit. A little bit. Just a just a bit. But but you know, he's got the typical head, you know, on the ball joint. Arms up and down. Elbows. No hands. But definitely enough to get him in some really rad poses. For sure. And uh, yeah, this is awesome. I've said it before and I'll probably say it again. New Age does some awesome stuff with their toys. I really, really dig it. So love what they're doing. Really a big fan of this. So that's it for this guy. Let me know what you guys think of the review and what you think of the toy. And I will see you guys next time. Hey, one last thing with this guy, I forgot to do it earlier, and just to hammer home the scale there and the size that they got him to, there is G1 Beachcomber. So, yeah, <laughs> that's it. I just wanted to show you guys that. All right, see you guys next time.